Judy and welcome to a new video. So as you can probably tell by all of these packages around me, today is going to be an unboxing video. So if you're new to my channel, every single month I do a big kind of collective unboxing of a multitude of different packages. So some of these are book subscriptions that I have, some are pre-orders, some are purchases I've made, bookish merch, all that kind of stuff. We have a lot to get through. Now these I have all accumulated in the past two to three weeks which is a lot. Like like I don't think you understand how many packages I have. Like this is probably my biggest book unboxing ever. Like there is an insane amount here. I had a lot of stuff on pre-order and a lot of stuff has arrived all at once. So that is why there is so much here. And I am extremely privileged and lucky that I do have all of this to unbox. And I'm excited to share that with you guys because I know you guys do love these videos. So we have Illumicrate, we have The Lock Library and we have Fairy Loot, which are three subscription companies I am subscribed to. Everything else is either from Waterstones, Amazon or a bookish store. So I'm just going to grab a box and not go in any particular order. So some of these are probably House of Flame and Shadow pre-orders that I have. So the first item that I have is from Forbidden Planet and this is going to be my pre-order of House of sky and breath because in the uk they did this like pre-order campaign which was definitely a cash grab on the publisher's part and it's a very silly cash grab that i still bought into because i love sorry so much um but basically you could pre-order a copy of house of Flame and shadow and you'd get like an exclusive little booklet with it which came with like a bonus chapter so i didn't order all four I don't think I think I did two of them so I think I did Forbidden Planet and I don't remember maybe I did Blackwells as well or maybe it was something else I honestly can't remember but I think there was like four different ones you could do okay so the booklet is inside I thought these were like a lot bigger so yeah you got like these little booklets now I thought this was like a lot bigger than this but this is the one that comes with the Forbidden Planet one so this one is an exclusive chapter from Rune and Lydia and this is what it looks like here so yeah i believe someone's already put all of these online so if you did want to read the chapters you can do without having to buy them for silly prices but i do have this one like i said i think i only pre-ordered maybe one or two with those little booklets but i do now have another copy of this book which is totally fine because i do plan to buy a lot of custom dust jackets and i will definitely need the extra copies for those so i don't mind having like a ridiculous amount of these on my shelf but i do already have this obviously but we have this new stunning sarah j mass book which is house of flame shadow the third book in the crescent city series crescent city is an urban fantasy series it is adult and it's very different to sarah j mass's other books i would say but I really, really like it. I really like the characters. I like the more adult themes and the urban fantasy setting definitely allows for a more modern take on fantasy, which I really enjoyed. So yeah, anyway, we have this. This is the first book unbox, which I feel like is a very good thing. So next, let's go for this Illumicrate box. So this is a YA monthly box and i don't know which month this is because i think i skipped one so this one is the january 2024 theme which is murder mystery this is the little spoiler thing here so yeah let's quickly go through this Ooh, okay so the first item we have is a library stamp and this is inspired by the wayward children series which i haven't read i think that might be a sci-fi series but i could be wrong but this is what the little box looks like so yeah i'm excited about having a stamp but also i don't know what this series is but i like this item it's a really cool concept it would be pretty cool actually if they put like different stamps in each box and you could just use this for them um but it says here from the library of and then you can just stamp it which i really like because actually even if you haven't read this series you can still definitely use this stamp and you just press it like onto the page i will definitely use this in my like spooky reads i really really like this item this is such a cool item actually then next we have an enamel phone grip this is inspired by the masters of gin i think is how you say it and i haven't actually read that i've not actually heard of it before but it looks like this here so i think this is like a almost like a pop socket it's the ministry of alchemy enchantments and supernatural entities which is really cool so yeah it's like a pop socket basically and it's like metal which is really really nice and this is like the back so I do really like that item, even though I don't know the fandom, I do like the item. I think the only reason I didn't skip this one, because I didn't really like the sound of the book or a lot of the items, was I'm pretty sure there's a Crescent City themed item in here, so that's the only reason I didn't skip this. Because a lot of these fandoms I'm just not familiar with, 
But the next item, I think, what is this? This might be an apron. So we have a cinnamon and gingerbread apron. So this is inspired by a book called A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking, which I actually have never heard of either. But you can never go wrong with an apron. I know there's an apron, obviously, in the fairy loot box, so I don't really need two. So I would probably maybe give this to somebody yeah this is really really cute though but i'm not 100 sure on the print like i don't really know if it's my vibe i think maybe i'll keep this for christmas time because it does have the gingerbreads on and it is really really cute but i'm not gonna lie i don't really do a lot of baking because i'm very bad at it so i may potentially give this to my nan because i know she likes to bake a lot or my cousin i'm sure they would make like a lot of use out of this and like i said because i know i have one in the fairy loot box like i don't really need two aprons i do like the item itself i do like a practical item so far i like the actual items it's just the fandoms that are a miss for me but yeah we do have a little apron and then we have the thing that i kept the box for which is these aluma crate crescent city bookmarks so they did these for akatar previously and people were reselling them for extremely crazy prices and luckily i managed to snag them at yelk for like 10 pounds when people were charging like over 100 pound for them so the artist who does these are mer wild and co and i just love their artwork so much so these are the bookmarks here these are so so stunning look at these I absolutely love these. This is literally the only reason I didn't skip was so I would get these bookmarks. So I'm very happy that I have these. They match the actual ones and I love bookmarks. These will go nicely on my Crescent City shelf and I really love the artist who does these. So it was worth not skipping the box purely for the bookmarks. Okay, and then the last one we have, I think it says it's a sticker book. Store all your stickers in one place with this stunning fandom neutral reusable sticker book. I don't get it though. I don't know if you're supposed to actually stick them onto the page itself, maybe? Can you get them back off? I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how this works. I'm assuming because it is just like silky paper, you stick your actual stickers on and you can just peel them off easily. But I'm not too sure and I don't know if I'd want to risk that. But this is a cute item. It is a reusable sticker book apparently. And it's fandom neutral so it just has all different things on the front. So it says the best stories are found between the pages of a passport. Um... So yeah this is kind of cool again i don't think i will be using this personally i like the idea but it's just not for me so that is all of the items pretty much a miss for me except for the bookmarks but i like the ideas behind them i do like the stamp i feel like i can still use that one but the other three items just aren't really it for me this book i'm not 100 percent on because i've heard mixed things about it but i feel like a murder mystery so it could be really fun so this is voyage of the damned by francis white this is what the cover looks like we kind of have like this silver foiling which looks really cool this is a colorway change i believe i don't know if it's a redesigned cover because it does look pretty similar to the original okay so this does have an exclusive cover apparently i definitely do prefer this over the original one and it has kind of like holographic foiling on it but i don't know if i'm really a fan generally and this has something stuck on the bottom of it oh no to be fair it's on the bottom so i don't really think it's a big deal but there is something on the bottom i feel like i can probably maybe get that off myself but these are the sprayed edges here i just don't like the fish on the book like that's what's kind of put me off it but wow that is very stunning wow i really love that so we have these end papers which i really really do like these these are very vivid and very beautiful these are stunning end papers so on the back is the same end papers and then we have this kind of holographic foiling on the naked hard cover of this fish so yeah it is pretty i like the holographic foiling and i do like this end paper design but i just don't like the fact it's a fish like it's just not for me it's signed by the author as well which is super cool and it says here 12 magical blessings 12 days at sea one chance to stop a killer and save the world so i do like a murder mystery and it's like a fantasy murder mystery so it sounds really really interesting but again i've heard mixed things and i'm just not really sure it's my kind of cup of tea really but i am willing to give it a go i'll probably audiobook it if not i might re-gift this book or something but yeah my favorite thing on this box was obviously the crescent city bookmarks but i like the concept behind these items and if they were like fandoms that i like knew or liked then i would be absolutely thrilled with them but unfortunately because they're not that's why i personally like i'm not a massive fan of this box but it was still like a really really good box and this book is still stunning and i'm sure it's an amazing story so yeah that is the aluma crate january ya box so if you have read that book please do let me know i'd love to hear people's thoughts on it next let's go with the afterlight subscription so this is a luma crates 
romance subscription i think it's is it bi-monthly now or, I, I actually can't even remember so the january theme is spite me and the book is at first spite by olivia dade and i think we've had an olivia dade book before in the afterlight subscription i'm pretty sure did they write shipwreck or something I think it was something like that i can't remember but this is the little art card here which is really cute and it comes with a letter from the author on the back i can't remember for sure i'm sure we've had an olivia day book or i own one this is the january one i do really enjoy the afterlight subscription for the most part i okay i really really love this edition this is so so stunning oh my god this is gorgeous so this is an exclusive b format hardback so i don't think maybe the cover is the same it could be it doesn't specify i don't think um, but i think you can generally only get this in paperback so this is what the book looks like i really love the color scheme for the cover and the art itself but then look at these edges how freaking cute are they i am honestly obsessed with these edges guys like i've got a thing for strawberries and pink at the moment and I'm obsessed with those. They are so, so cute. And then we have these edges on the top and bottom, which is kind of like this pastel kind of sky. Like I'd say this is like a dusky sky. I really, really like it. It works really well together. And then we have an author signature inside. Do you have M paper art inside, which looks like this. And I see a cat. So I am very happy and intrigued. At least I think it's a cat. But these are the end papers so they are very very cute and then we have the same end papers that are on the little author letter as well and we don't have a reversible dust jacket but we have this gorgeous art on the naked hardback i love it when books are like this and you open it up and it makes an image that is really cool and i love the little pumpkin in the window there so yeah this is the illumicrate or afterlight edition of olivia dade's at first spite and i like the sound of that <laughs> sounds like this is going to be a very very petty romance okay so our main character athena's fiance ends their engagement and she has no choice but to move on into the spite house that she recklessly bought him as a wedding gift the house is only 10 feet wide her ex's home is literally attached to hers and there's a doctor who is some kind of jerk or something who convinces younger brother to leave her is living on the other side uh, so i'm assuming they end up falling for each other and maybe the reason he convinced her fiance to leave her is because he maybe has always had a thing for her it sounds like it could be a really fun time and i do really love this edition so i'm very very happy with this that was a really stunning stunning book okay so next we have a waterstones pre-order again i have quite a lot of waterstones pre-orders that have come in this past week and i do know that there were like one or two copies of house of flame shadow coming so i now have three copies so far of the standard house of flame and shadow hardback so we have another one to add to the collection i already had that one and the exclusive edition pre-ordered at waterstones before the whole like little booklet campaign thing came out but i will definitely use them i will need them when i get custom dust jackets because i already have a few custom sets that i know are going to need like the dust jacket to match if that makes sense so i'll need like those um so i'm fine with that being another one and um, this one i think is one that i've bought on maybe ebay or depop i honestly don't know so we have a court of thorns and roses by sergio mass in the original hardback so yeah my lovely friend tasman was getting rid of this and i decided to take it off their hands and i'm very very happy that i did because i will never say no to another edition of this book the one i already have has like writing in it and tabs and annotations and all that and i would love to collect these without like any of that so i'm very very appreciative to them for letting me take this book off their hands and yes i just love these so much so i have another edition of court and roses to add to my ever-growing collection so next we have this one which is a lilac libraries box and i've never ordered anything from them before now i'm pretty sure this is one that i pre-ordered last year and this is a fourth wing special edition so i think i still have another two fourth wing special editions on order from last year that should come in i think maybe this month so keep an eye out for those in my next Next unboxing video but this one finally arrived i think this got a little bit delayed and it's come with a cute little bookmark as well which looks like this which is very very cute yeah this is lilac libraries this is the little logo and this is all of that information here if you guys want to check them out i don't know if these are still available or not but i am super excited this package is so cute i love the purple so we have this really really cute packaging here i kind of don't want to open this because it's so cute okay i might just like do it like that because it would be nice to maybe film a little tiktok or reel of this because i really like their packaging and i've never ordered from them before and it would be nice to like post about them so yeah this is the exclusive edition they did of 
fourth wing and it is truly stunning that is gorgeous so it is this black and gold foil design so we have the dragons on the front look at that shine how stunning we have this bit on the back which says i am the sky and the power of every storm that has ever been i am infinite and i just love the gold foiling like it is so stunning and this is the spine and it looks like a book like you'd have like in the archives which is kind of like the whole point of the story look how gorgeous that is absolutely stunning and then we have these sprayed edges look how cool they are gorgeous gorgeous art of andana here how stunning those end papers are and then on the back is the same art as well and then on our actual hardcover we have this beautiful gold foiling of a dragon how beautiful is that so i honestly love this edition i just love black and gold together like just such a stunning design um, and I'm really, really happy with this. It was worth the wait. And I'm excited to add it onto my shelf with all my other editions. So yeah, this is from Lilac Libraries if you wanted to check them out. And I don't know, like I said, if these are still in stock, if they'll be restocking. But I'm very excited. And I hope they do an Iron Flame edition. Maybe they already did and I might have pre-ordered it already. I honestly don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy that I have this edition to add to my shelf. I love the spine so much it's just so pretty okay so next we have this parcel from one of my favorite stores for bookish merch sadly they are based i think in either the us or canada so the shipping is crazy expensive which really sucks i totally get it though like it's coming from the states like it's going to be expensive because if they were based in the uk i would probably buy their entire store like no joke I honestly just love their merch so much and I have two of their jumpers already. I have the Valaris one and the Terrison one and the quality is amazing. Like it's really, really, really high quality and so comfy and cozy. And as soon as they put this collection up, I had to snag one. So all of my other jumpers I have in a small times medium because usually the bigger size is sold out. But this time I did decide to go ahead and get the large slash extra large because I love my jumpers being super oversized. So I don't know if this might be too oversized. I'm hoping not. I mean, I think that is... I don't think it's too oversized. I think it's like nicely oversized. Um, so this is a jumper that says a recent favourite sweater. Look how oh, it's going to look cute. So we have the gorgeous purple neck. I love these small details. And then this is the jumper here. And then on the sleeves, we have black. We have the purple trim. We have it on here. So yeah, like I said, I got this in a much bigger size to have it like oversized with my jeans. Like look how cute this is. Oh, I love it so much. Obviously, recent is my number one book boyfriend forever. And I just had to get my hands on this jumper. It is so freaking soft. Oh my God, I just love it. I feel like maybe I should have just stuck with the small to medium because it seems to be oversized anyway. But I'm hoping when I try it on and stuff, it'll look really nice. Like my plan is to have it like super oversized, like with my Levi's and my Converse and it just look like really cute. Um, but this is so soft and I'm so happy that I got my hands on this. So they also have one for Cassian and Azriel as well, which maybe eventually I will also get and add to my collection. But for now, I just got the recent one and I'm so happy. Like, you guys understand how soft these are. Like, they are insane. Yeah, we have that stunning jumper. So next, we'll open these two because I'm so scared I'm going to sit on them and bend them. So let's go with the Dusty Shop first. So these are page overlays. I love the Dusty Shop's page overlays. I get a lot of their overlays because I just think they're the best at them. So I'm pretty sure these... These are maybe Crown of Midnight. They started doing the Throne of Glass ones. Yeah, so these are the Crown of Midnight page overlays. And this is what the packaging looks like. So I'm not going to put them in the book right now. Just because I realise this video is going to be super long if I faff about with that. But in an upcoming reading vlog, I will definitely show what the page overlays look like inside the actual book. And they always come with a little guide as to what page to put them on, which I think is super helpful. So I'll just quickly show you guys the overlays. Now please bear in mind these will contain spoilers. So if you haven't read Crown of Midnight, I will put a timestamp on the screen so you guys know where to skip to. Um, so please do skip to that section now if you don't want to be spoiled for Crown of Midnight. But here we have the artwork. Now my lighting might not show these very well. So you will have to look out for that vlog. But these are the page overlays here. Just so stunning. I love art for books like seeing it come to life how i pictured it in my head is one of my favorite things these are so stunning oh my god that scene i get it i would have done the same thing so yeah i just love these so much oh my goodness me how incredible are these i'm literally i'm grinning from ear to ear because i just love these so much oh 
and this scene iconic so yeah i am just obsessed with those page overlays would highly recommend them you can get them for hardbacks and paperbacks i believe and i'm so excited to put these in my hardcover and i will be doing that once i finish filming this video so like i said i will definitely show these in an upcoming reading vlog and oh i just love them so much okay so this next one is actually a calendar and i think this is by i want to say the artist is mad schofield designs i know they're called mad schofield on instagram this is the artist here so this is a sarah j mass calendar and i am obsessed my friend got one of these and once they said they had theirs and it was amazing i was like i have to get it so yeah i do i need another calendar absolutely not but do i have one anyway so this is what it looks like oh, my babies i love them present city all of the gang and i'm sorry but hunt that is my favourite art of Hunt ever. Like, oh my dear God. Then we have my babies. I love them so much. Oh my goodness me. I need to put that on my bedroom wall forever. We have another stunning couple for March, which is my birthday month. Just oh, a Braxos. I love him so much. Look at him. Look at him. He's just so cute. And I know it's weird to say that he's cute, but he is. He is a cutie. I love him. Then we have this, <laughs> which just wow, need I say anymore. We have Nesta and Cassian. This iconic scene, <laughs> which just makes me laugh. Like, can you imagine actually growling in someone's face in real life? Like, so funny. Oh, my babies. My faves. My number ones. Like, look at them obsessed obsessed it's gonna be probably august all year round oh amazing i i know i'm like showing you guys the entire calendar but you need to see how stunning these are oh my good god incredible just say no more and then we have this one which is so cute I like how it goes from like sad to cute. Um, so yeah, that is the Sarah J Mask calendar. I love it so much. It's so stunning. And I'm probably gonna cut all of these art pieces out and make them into posters for my wall because they're stunning. So yeah, this is the calendar. It's really, really big as well, which is really, really good. So yeah, I did get myself that, even though I did not need another calendar. Okay, I'm gonna go through these ones very, very quickly because I'm like probably not even halfway through this and my camera is on 50% battery. It's not going to last much longer and I think this is already like at least half an hour long so I need to pick up the pace. Okay, yeah, so this one is an exclusive edition. It just doesn't have the sticker on it at least i'm pretty sure it is anyway um so yeah this is another copy of the exclusive edition so this is the third copy for this unboxing and i already have two copies on my shelf as it is so i now own five copies of this book and i know i have at least one more on the way which i ordered from an indie bookstore so yeah a little bit insane but who cares okay so next we have I forgot about this. Okay, so this is the fourth wing um, Waterstone Spread Edge Exclusive Edition. So it has the same gold cover. It just has these edges here, which match the Iron Flame one, I believe. And that's the only, like, kind of special part about this. Really, really cool, though. I do really like these edges. And I'm excited to put that on my shelf with my other editions. So then we have my pre-order of Feybound. And this one is signed by the author, and it has the exclusive spread edges now i actually did go to the Fabian ball in london a couple of weeks ago or a week ago i can't remember when it was i think it was a couple of weeks ago and i actually got one of these at the event already so i actually own two of these now so i might gift this one or some things i just don't need to and i got my other one personalized so that's really nice to keep that one but yeah i don't need this one and i think this had already arrived before i went to the ball so like i couldn't cancel it if that makes sense so yeah i probably will just gift this or something because i don't need two but we do have Feybound. this is an adult fantasy it has a lot of good rep in here as well and it's based on these two sisters who kind of get kicked out of their like kingdom or something and they basically end up discovering this fake court that hasn't been seen for like a long time the loyal and their loyalty between each other is kind of tested they're thrown into lots of other things and there's romance so i'm very excited to read this there's fey and elves in here 
cannot wait. Yeah, we have another copy of Fabian. This is actually my third copy because I have the Fairy one. So next we have an Amazon parcel and this one is actually a gift, which is really, really exciting. So this one is from Vanessa and it says, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and Happy Everything, Jodie. I hope this year is full of joy, success and all your goals and amazing new beginnings. As always, thank you for the continuous happiness and enjoyment your content brings me from Vanessa. Vanessa, thank you so much. Vanessa has been around on my channel and my patreon for so long and i am truly so grateful to you vanessa like you have no idea how much your support always means to me and the fact that you stick around like honestly i i'm just incredibly incredibly grateful and this is just so nice like the gift wrapping the notes everything like i'm just so grateful for you um so vanessa very very kindly has got me what are you looking for in the library and this is a translated novel i believe this is translated from japanese yes it says japanese bestseller on the front that was very silly i find like translated fiction particularly from japanese translated fiction a very slice of life and just really really nice to read and this one i immediately was drawn to because it has books and a cat on the cover and a cup of tea like that is me to a T. This says that it's about the magic of libraries and the discovery of connection. This inspirational tale shows how by listening to our hearts, seizing opportunity and reaching out, we too can fulfill our lifelong dreams. I love this. I love books about books as well. And I just think this is going to be another amazing read. I cannot wait to read this. I'm probably going to put this on one of my upcoming TBRs because I just know I'm going to love it. And I feel like this will be such a perfect book to read this time of year. So thank you so much to Vanessa for this book. I am just so, so happy. And I love the note as well. I will be putting the note inside the book as soon as this video is finished with. Um, so yes, thank you so much, Vanessa. I hope you're having a wonderful new year. And I'm very, very grateful to you for your support, your kind words, and for this book as well. Like, I'm just so excited to read this. Look how cute it is. So next we have a fairy loot. So this one is The Unmaking of Judy Farrow by Adrian Young. It has those supernatural paranormal kind of vibes and I'm so excited and this edition is stunning. So this is what the actual cover looks like and then we have these gorgeous sprayed edges. So these go all the way top and bottom which are beautiful. We have some stunning end papers. Look at these end papers absolutely obsessed like i love these and papers so so much and the ones on the back oh my good god look at those just seeing that art makes me want to bump this up my tbr to be honest and i love small town stories and um, this is also signed by the author as well so this says in the small mountain town of jasper north carolina june farrow is waiting to, for fate to find her farrow women are known for their thriving flower farm that, wow that was like a tongue twister for me and the mysterious curse that has haunted them for generations the madness that led to susanna farrow's disappearance left her daughter june to be raised by her grandmother everyone in jasper is certain it's only a matter of time before she finds the same end june has kept secret that her unraveling has already begun after her grandmother's death june follows a series of clues that link her mother's disappearance to the town's dark history leading finally to a mysterious door behind it may lay the answer to the mysteries that have always lingered like a dark shadow upon crossing the threshold june embarks on a journey that will not only change both the past and the future but entangle her fate and her heart in a star-crossed love just sounds amazing and i actually like that this is on the shorter side i definitely feel like i'll pick this up quite soon and i'm just so excited i love stories like this and also the art under the dust jacket how gorgeous is that i love it so much this is just such a stunning edition so yes i cannot wait to read this one I'm very very happy that i have this edition so next we have this one which i think is a purchase i made on vintage or depop i think so this is actually not what i thought it was this is my pre-order that i made of house of flame and shadow and this is from an indie bookstore called collected um so you get the little pin badge which i do actually already have one of these but now i have two but then you also got this exclusive tote bag which says through love all is possible look how cute this is i'm so happy that i pre-ordered this like look at that it's so cute so yeah i pre-ordered this just to get this tote bag i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so now i have my fourth copy of this book in this haul which i'm sorry like nobody come for me in the comments okay i i just love Sergio Mass a lot okay it's fine i'm happy to have spent all my money on these books um so yeah we now have four copies of this book but i already have like 10 copies of each of the crescent city books already so i need another 10 copies of this one to go with those so it's fine um so we have another edition of this book I promise you i'm not insane i'm just a 
fangirl through and through and i really wanted the tote bag like it's so cute so yes we have a little cute freebie tote bag as well okay i'm really not sure what this one is to be honest oh this is an aluma crate pre-order i forgot about this okay so this is a series which i haven't read yet but i have been meaning to read these for a while and these editions were so stunning so this is i can't remember what this series is called but i think the first book is called well met so this is the series here i don't know what the series name is but the by jen delica so this is what they all look like together and we have these ombre solid edges which are very very pretty so the first book is well met and this is what it looks like here really really cute i really like these really really cute so these are done by afterlight which is an illumicrate print and this is the artwork under the jacket which is super super cute so these are all little romance novel and we have an author signature here then we have the second book which is well played again it's super cute i love the cat on the cover this one is also signed and then underneath the dust jacket we have this design here which is really really cute and this one has dragonflies on the back then we have well matched this one is so cute i love this blue color how stunning this one is also signed <laughs> i love that this is what the naked hardback looks like and then we have this cute little design on the back and then we have the last book which is well traveled and again the cat i just love it it's so cute it's also signed and then under the dust jacket of this one we have this art here and this is the bag so i love these editions i love the art and i am so excited to read these like i said i've been meaning to pick this series up for a while and i've heard very good things i think they're all like kind of like renfair vibes maybe i could be wrong but these editions are so cute i love afterlight's romance books like they do the best editions like i actually think that afterlight editions are better than like their standard ya subscription editions like i don't know what it is about them but i just love them so much and i love the art and like even the characters are like glossy on the mat like i just love those little details so i'm so happy that i got these like these are so freaking cute i can't wait to put them on my romance shelf and i just love them so much honestly i pre-ordered so many things that i forget about them so it's so nice when something turns up like that and i'm like nice and surprised next we have a waterstones pre-order and this is solo leveling volume 8 which i'm so excited for if you didn't know this is a manoir series and this is my favorite series ever i love it so much it recently got adapted to an anime which i haven't watched yet because i wasn't sure if it was weekly episodes or not so i decided to hold off watching it until i can binge all in one go which i do need to figure out if they're all out yet or not um but yeah i actually still need to read volume seven of this i haven't yet because i knew the wait for volume eight was quite a while so i'm definitely going to pick up volume seven and eight probably this month but i'm so excited and just look at him this is my favourite cover they've done so far. Um, so yeah, this is a really, really great series. If you're looking to get into manga, this is a really good place to start because these are essentially Korean comic books or a graphic novel, but it's classified as manga for some reason. And I just think they're really accessible. The art is amazing. This story is so fun. You will root for the main character and I just really, really love it. And it is just such a fun time, honestly. I'm so excited. Like, I am so freaking excited to read this please go and read this series guys please like it is so good it needs more hype okay so now we have another waterstones pre-order which i know one of these has to be bride by ellie hazelwood which i'm so excited for and i think it is actually this one. Oh, i'm so excited i'd read a shopping list like no word of a lie um so this is bride this is ellie hazelwood's kind of first book stepping outside of the strictly rom com -y genre or stem romance this one is her take on a supernatural romance. So this is a romance between a vampire and a werewolf, I think. And I haven't read too much into it. I really want to go into this not knowing much and without many expectations. Because like I said, this is kind of Ali Hazel stepping out of the box that we've all kind of put her in when it comes to romance. And I'm so excited. I have heard very good things off the content creators that I do follow who've read this, have raved about this, have given it five stars. So I'm so excited to read this. Like, I cannot wait. I will be picking this up probably in March and i just know i'm gonna love it like i know it's gonna be an easy five stars and i just love the cover like i love supernatural and paranormal romances and the fact that one of my favorite romance authors is now writing in that genre just makes me so happy like so so happy okay so now we have yet another water stain pre-order i'm not sure what this one is but i did quite a big pre-order 
the end of last year when they were doing their triple stamps offer so i took advantage of it by getting in a lot of pre-orders so there's gonna be a lot of books turned up on my door this year um but this is the city of stardust by georgia summers this is the world soon signed and exclusive edition i do already own this because i have the fairly edition but i did pre-order this and it is so stunning i cannot wait to read this look at those edges they're so cute and this basically follows this girl who kind of has to save her village essentially is how the story goes and it says here her hunt leads her into a seductive magical underworld of power hungry scholars fickle gods and monsters bent on revenge that line alone makes me want to pick this up immediately i've heard very very good things about this and i cannot wait to read it like i'm so excited and i'm glad that i pre-ordered this back in i think november or december like it's a very stunning edition okay so this one is from wh smith and i know what this is and i promise this is my last copy for this video of house of flame shadow <laughs> like half of this like haul is house of flame shadow copies which you know like it is what it is i'm not mad about it so this is one of the ones that i pre-ordered so i could get the little extra chapter thingy so i think i did only do this for forbidden planet and wh smith i don't think i did it for blackwells and i think there was also an irish bookstore you could do it i'm not going to say whose chapter this is because it is spoilers um but i am freaking out about it put it that way um, so yeah very very excited to have that and then again we have the, our fifth copy for this haul of house of flame and shadow which is just okay maybe i am insane Okay, so those are all like my pre-orders like when it comes to waterstones and things like that i think a lot of the books i now have left kind of subscriptions or fairly late now so let's go through these so this is the lock library for january we're redoing some of their previous like books so this isn't a new release it's a book that released a while ago but they've done like this pretty edition of it so this is the re-released version of babel by R. Pong, which oh my god this is so stunning so this is what it looks like here we don't have a dust jacket we have it straight on the hardback and it has gorgeous gold and silver detailing here is the spine and then the back here which is gorgeous and then we have these stunning edges i am in love with these i cannot wait to put this on my shelf like this is so pretty and then look at this how freaking gorgeous I am obsessed like this art is so beautiful so these books don't come signed i'm hopefully gonna meet rebecca kong again i think i've met rebecca twice now and i am hopefully gonna meet her again at some point because i will be getting her to sign right here um i like how this is here because it kind of is like for a signature but yeah this is a stunning addition so this is from the lock library it's a subscription you can get from i think it's harper voyager that does it and every single month you get a fancy book with like exclusive spread edges and stuff and exclusive like design and all of that but yeah this is one of their like kind of new things they're doing where i don't know if it's called like archived or something like that but they're basically like doing ones like this for past releases and i love this i think this is really really stunning and i think it was like 25 pound with postage so it's not too bad considering it's a special edition um, and it also does have like a little ribbon in the bottom if you can see that there so, yeah i love that that's one of my favorite book i've got from the so far because i'm not gonna lie all the previous books I've got from them have definitely been misses, except for the witchy one. So I'm very, very happy with that one. Okay, so next we have this fairy one, which is my Twisted set. So this is by Anna Huang. And these I have actually already taken out the box once before. I'll film a video for work, but I wanted to include them in here because they're just too stunning not to. And I meant to film this video a while ago when these did first arrive. So yeah, I just had to include them. This is what the spines look like here i love the colors of these editions and then we have our spray edges which are the same top and bottom as well how stunning are those edges i'm honestly obsessed so i'll very very quickly show these so we have a twisted love which looks like this here we have this gorgeous design on the hardcover with this foiling and then only the first book is signed by the author which is amazing. I'm so happy that I own a signed book by this author. Then we have Twisted Games, which looks like this here. So I've only read Twisted Love so far, but I can't wait to continue. And then we have this design under the hardcover with the foiling, which is super, super cute. So next we have Twisted Hate, which looks like this here. 
stunning and then this is the foiling under the dust jacket this is probably my favorite when it comes to the foiling underneath i love the light pink and the dark pink together like it's just so beautiful and then we have the final book in the series which is twisted lies this is what the back looks like very very stunning and then underneath the dust jacket we have this green foiling which is so so pretty so those are the twisted fairly exclusive editions these are unfortunately now sold out but i honestly love these so much like just look at them so pretty i'm so excited to put these on my shelf and i cannot wait to continue reading this series because a lot of people i know have recently been reading this series and loving it and it's making me even more excited to pick up i really enjoy twisted love i think the first book's called i think i read that in like a day because i just couldn't put it down like it was so fun okay so my battery's on 20 percent now so i really need to pick up the pace and we still have a few more to go so next is the january ya fairy loop box and i'm so excited because this is just such a stunning box. So I have already opened it to get the book out because I'm currently reading it. So we'll quickly show the book. So this is A Fragile Enchantment by Alison Saft. So this is the reverse dust jacket I have on, which I love so much. Look how stunning this is. I'm honestly obsessed with it. We do have these stunning sprayed edges. My sticky tabs might be ruining it, but this is the sprayed edge. And then we have stunning end papers inside. So this is what the end papers look like. And then these are the end papers at the back of the book. And then the naked hardback. like i'm sorry but how stunning and then the back this is one of my favorite editions we've ever done like i'm honestly obsessed like look at this it's so freaking pretty and then this is the original dust jacket here and the reason it has these two people on is because this is the uk cover and obviously fairly is a uk company so this is the original one i love it it has like this dark pink if you can see that like with the text just so so pretty but this is the reverse dust jacket which i am honestly like just obsessed with i would put this in a frame and put it on my wall like i love it but yeah this edition just so freaking pretty like and i'm really enjoying this book so far it is so fun it's a way fantasy it has grumpy sunshine romance and the magic is just so unique and we have a digital signature i don't know if i already showed that so that is the book now we'll continue with the rest of the box so the book always comes with the art card which has a letter from the author so we have the same art super super pretty we have our little bookmark which matches the spoiler card our fairy scoop for the month which always includes the details to the photo challenge on the bottom here so if you want to join in you can we have our spoiler card for the month which is again stunning matches the bookmark then we have this lunch bag which i am honestly obsessed with i love the colors i love everything about this and this is inspired by the Wisteria society of scoundrels i think it's called and i haven't read that series yet but i've heard many good things but this lunch box is so cute now obviously i work from home now so i don't really need a lunch box but when i do you bet i will be using this you could also use this as a cosmetics bag or a travel bag or for anything but I love it. Like, look how cute this is. It has this gorgeous design of, like, teacups and swords and daggers. I love it. I just think it's stunning. I love the lilac pastels. And this is just such a cute item. Like, I am obsessed with this. And next, we have the apron I was talking about at the start of the video, which is this gorgeous soft blue. And it's, like, a gorgeous baby blue. And this is inspired by Half a Soul. And I love this apron because it has moons on it. And this is one of those, like, half aprons that kind of, like, goes around your waist, which is so cute. It'll make me feel like I'm in some kind of, like... I don't know movie or something like i never see people in real life wearing these so i'm really excited to have one but look at this design it is so cute it has moons on it and it has pockets which just perfect so i'm so excited to use that i guess you could use this as well for like if you're like a painter or something or an artist you could even use it or maybe even like gardening you can keep like your little garden shoes in it but i love this like the moons and the color and the simplicity of it is so me next we have this otherland plant pot which is gorgeous so this is inspired by emily wilde's encyclopedia of fairies and this is what the box looks like i just love the design of the box and the colors the overall pastel theme for this box is just so stunning so here we have the plant pot this is what it looks like it is so gorgeous i don't know what i'm gonna plant in here yet because i can't keep anything alive except for my cats and myself but 
plants cannot seem to keep them alive for the most part so i'm not sure what i'll put in there yet but if i can't figure out any plants to put in there i will definitely use it for something or as like a decor thing because it is just so pretty so yeah that is the little plant pot then we have a brooch and this is inspired by a fragile enchantment this is what it looks like it is so cute look at that so stunning i'm gonna put that in my bag i think so yes that was the fairy loot box for january absolutely love it obsessed with the book need i say more okay so we're gonna go through these last fairy loops very very quickly because i really need to hurry up before this video is too long and my camera dies which it's definitely about to so next we have a sequel and this is this cursed light by emily feed and this is the sequel to this vicious grace i'm pretty sure is the title this is what the hardback looks like absolutely stunning we have these gorgeous sprayed edges and then the end paper art inside it just kills me like look at this it's so pretty and then this is the foiling on the hardback which matches the same foiling as this vicious grace which i love how stunning it is also signed by the author as well next we have the fairly january adult book and the theme is star chosen we have our art here and we have our letter from the author on the back and this month's book is the city of stardust by georgia summers look how stunning this book is this reminds me so much of valaris like i can't and i'm so excited to read this so look how stunning this is we have our holographic foiling i love the color scheme we have more holographic foiling on the back and on the spine and then we have these gorgeous edges look how stunning these are i am obsessed with the edges like oh, they're just so pretty so we have this art on the end papers at the front and then this is the art on the back here we have this gorgeous foiling on the naked book itself which is absolutely beautiful and then we also have a reversible dust jacket which is like a colorway change to the original which is really nice really really love this but i just love the fairy loop dust jacket like it's so nice and like i said it reminds me of valaris and i'm just so excited to read this book so this is now my second copy of this book i really hope that i love it next we have the fairly exclusive edition of two twisted crowns by rachel gillig this is the sequel to one dark window and i'm very very excited about this book i really enjoyed one dark window it actually really surprised me i did a spoiler filled reading vlog for the first book and you can watch it on my patreon but this has this gorgeous red foiling on it we have these red spread edges which i love the muted tone of this it just goes so well with the vibes of the book we have this little signature to stick in the book and then we have some stunning end paper art look at these gorgeous and then we have this end paper art on the back and then underneath the hardcover we have this gorgeous gorgeous art which matches the first book so so well so this is what it looks like it's like a tarot card I love it and then we have our reversible dust jacket which looks like this here again matches the first book perfectly absolutely love this art and this design so yes i'm very happy to have this cannot wait to read this sequel i have very very high expectations and i'm sure i'll be disappointed this is the third to last one now so we're getting there guys um so again another fairy loot one so this is the fairly exclusive edition of cinderella is dead and this one is so pretty so this is exclusively in hardcover and then we have these gorgeous florals on the sprayed edge which i love i love the colors it is signed by the author and then we have this gorgeous design on the hardcover as well i'm so excited to read this i've heard so many good things and i've just never gotten around to reading it before so i cannot wait and this hardback is just so adorable so this is the last fairy loot one before i get to the last like parcel and i'm going to be quick because i've got 10 battery left but this is the part two of the shatter me series so luckily i already own part one and this is the second half of the series now i actually don't know which order these books go in because i haven't read all of the series i've only read the first book but i'm going to show these really really quickly so here we have the spines these are really difficult to show on camera because they're so shiny but we have believe me which looks like this here and then we have a signature inside and we have art and then we have this reverse dust jacket which is so stunning again i'm really sorry if i'm going through this very very quickly but it's because i am <laughs> and i'll show the spread edges properly in a minute then we have restore me which looks like this here we have another signature and then we have this design underneath the hardcover here 
and we have this art on the reverse side of the dust jacket then we have defy me which looks like this here we have a signature inside again we have this art underneath and then we have this art on the other side of the dust jacket then lastly we have imagine me which looks like this here is signed inside has this art underneath and on the reverse of the dust jacket we have this art so i know this is probably out of order but these are the sprayed edges here look how stunning they are i love them so so much so yeah those are the fairy Luke exclusive editions of the part two of the shot me series and now we have our last package which hopefully i can show you guys before my camera decides to die it's on seven percent so i need to be quick so i think this is the one that i ordered from vinted or depop at least it should be anyway <gasps> oh my god this is so cute Oh, they put a freebie in. I think I actually got this on eBay. So they included this little recent magnetic bookmark. How freaking cute is that? Oh, I love it. So I think this is the German edition of House of Sky and Breath, but with the sprayed edge because I pre-ordered this book depository messed up apparently and they sent everyone the one that had like their plain badge and you could email them and then they would send you this edition but i just never did because i was lazy which i don't know why i did that but i decided to get this off ebay all this time later so it has the edge on it that will match my crescent city one so this has hunt which is really really cool so this is the german edition i now have two of these one just has a normal edge and this one has the sprayed edge so yeah, I got this off eBay and I'm really, really happy to add it to my collection. Pretty sure that does conclude the end of this video. I have so much rubbish around me. I could actually be missing one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this very long and very big unboxing. I got so much good book mail. I would try and show it all to you guys, but there's like three stacks of books here, so it's not possible. But I got a lot of good book mail and a lot of good bookish merch and I'm just so happy with everything I got and I feel very, very lucky. I really hope you guys did enjoy seeing this unboxing. Let me know your thoughts of any of the books i've shown in the comments i would love to hear what you think about them and as always if you have any book recommendations please feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will try to link anything i've mentioned in the description box as well as the link to my patreon and that's where you can find exclusive content such as early access to videos such as this one you can also find a monthly buddy read an exclusive spoiler filled reading vlog for that buddy read a discord server we also do a monthly readathon and we have a super exciting romance themed readathon happening this month as well there's occasionally live shows there's photos there's hauls there's clothing hauls there's a bookshelf reorganization and just lots of other exclusive content so if you were interested in any of that then you can head to the link in my description and that's where you're also going to find all the links to my socials if you did make it to the end of this video leave a pink heart in the comments and i hope you guys are all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye